We've managed to find them again, and they were coming down to a waterhole. They look highly disappointed. They are babies are all pouring at the mud, not even mud. Shame. This is quite sad. They're digging. Some of them are digging. Little babies digging over there. Um, is trying his very best to try and get what little close to nothing. There is no water in here whatsoever. I mean, not even mud. This is true testament to the the drought that the Eastern Cape is suffering with. We struggling with water, you know. It gets so warm and there's almost nothing for these for these animals. You know? And uh, it's not well, can't always blame the drought. The heat also is a part to play in it as well. The heat's not very good, obviously drying out fair amount of the, the water and i feel for the mothers of the of these little babies as i've seen that one little baby suckling on uh on mom there just wanting something desperately to drink oh there's a little bit of mud I can imagine how frustrated they must be. Wanting something and not getting it. And the babies still seem to have the, the whale of a time. Sure, this pan is too small for all of these <laughs> elephants. Oh my goodness, look at that. It's enough for a mud bath, but that's about it, you know. Nothing else. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> this baby is... I wish you all saw that. <laughs> This baby just plopped himself head first <laughs> into the bank. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> it's covered in dust. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> I shouldn't laugh. Look at that piece of root there. There we go. Pull it. Pull it. Oh, like a piece of spaghetti. Oh yes. That's a nice. Now oh, that's a that's a thick spaghetti. You can see how grabbing that uh, piece of root that's now coming from the ground. Oh, look at that! Now that's going to—that's exactly what that uh, this youngster was looking for. He was looking for that piece of root. They're going to put it in the mouth, and they'll try and pull it sometimes with their. Actually, they'll try and pull it with their mouths. They'll kind of put it in their mouths and they kind of uh, see if they can rip the rest of the root out out of the ground. There, there we go. Put it in the mouth and uh, pull. There we go. Pull. Oh. <laughs> <What are you? laughs> oh, well done. We haven't seen her for quite some time, and remember, she, remember, Lunga should be having cubs very soon, if I'm not mistaken. She's been mating a lot with her. Uh, um, 
She's been mating with a uh, uh, Ngobot swan as well as a tortoise pan. So, all right, let's see if we can get past here. So I'm going to try and take a look if she's got any suckle marks. Or maybe she's carrying cubs. So you can see how she's scent marking now. Typical with uh, leopards. Uh, scent marking. Yay! <laughs> I'm so happy, and especially Lunga as well. We haven't seen her for such a long time. There you go, marking again. All right, there's a hyena that's approaching here as well. There's a hyena. So Lunga's in front of us. There's a hyena in front of us. So, woo, yeah. Let's see what, uh, what happens here. This hyena sees Lunga. So she's just behind this bush in front of us now. I just want to see what she's going to do. Let me just go a little bit forward here, uh, Panda. She's going to go a little bit forward so we can at least. See what's going to happen. So she's just stopped here. Oh, there's another vehicle. Do you, do you think you can get it right there? All right, let me just. Uh, oh, it's fine like that. It's fine. So, because so she's she's watching that hyena at the moment. Hyena is trying to figure out, but she's just watching. Watch her. So, of course, the leopard doesn't want any into. Oh, she's gone now. <laughs> there you can see she's sniffing. Oh, we're going to scent mark. Maybe hug it. Yep, there we go. She's going to lift her tail, spray the bush. Hey, my girl, you're beautiful. Look at you. You are so stunning. Stunning little face. Maybe we're picking up on a scent of another female here. So maybe like uh, Kuchava, she comes in this area as well. But uh, this young female, she's pretty much taken a part of her mom's territory now. Mm. Alright, we're just taking a look where she's going there. Uh, looks like she's, she's heading straight away. And, uh, oh, there's Aina in front. Oh, there's Aina. So this is Sherlock. I think Sherlock, uh, it's an immigrant male hyena, spotted hyena, that is just following her all over the show. Shame. I think he's pestering her poor Lunga this morning. And she just wants to get away from him. So you can see the reaper on the right and the reaper on the left now, almost like the same size. So you'll find that uh, females are more pinkish around the eye area, where that one at the back end there is more like the male. You can tell, you can see it's a male. You can see it's actually got a very dark area around the eye. And uh, there you go. You can see it's not as pink as the female. <coughs> This one is agreeing with us. There's actually two that's busy playing around there at the other side of the dead tree. We're gonna see if we can get them. Uh, sorry, Panda. Let's see if we can. Let's see if we can. There we go. I got two like, like like juveniles. There we go. They are having a lot of fun. <laughs> Here to see legs. Oh, how's that breach? That was amazing. <laughs>